Good morning. Arthur Ruffley speaking on behalf of the Arthur Ruffley Foundation. Now, uh, it is now time, now coming up to my murdered father's anniversary on the 15th of August 1974, 45 years ago. My father was shot five times in the back. Uh, my father was unarmed. The RUCP is an Ireland lawless paramilitary group calling themselves a police force, employed a Sinn Féin IRA informer, Freddy Scapatizzi, a.k.a. Stigney, and four other members of Sinn Féin IRA to murder my father. Now, the man who murdered my father was a police informer, also a British government agent, also an MI5 informer, also an informer for the FRU, that is the Forces Research Unit, part of the British Army whose job was to employ informers to murder for the British government and pay them out of the public purse. The RUC PSNA supplied Scapatici with the armoured rifle and ammo to murder my father. This man carried out these murders on the orders of the British government and that corrupt RUC PSNA and was given a complete amnesty for all of his murders and was told that he would never, never be charged for any of his crimes. This psychopath was a mass murderer and paid well by the British government who gave him a free hand to murder and he was accountable to no one. They told him he was untouchable. This man even murdered 24 members of Sinn Féin IRA, who he accused of being informers, and the head of Sinn Féin IRA stood by and let it happen, as he was head of the Norton Squad, and not only men, he also shot women. At two meetings that I had with a top member of Sinn Féin IRA, he conveyed to me that uh, Scapatici was given complete control with security in the Sinn Féin area and no one ever stood up to him. Not only did this scum Scapatici murder my unarmed father, but he also tried to degrade his name by slandering his good name. I later found out that the Sinn Féin area have done that to at least 25 other innocent victims not content with murdering the victims but also trying to disgrace their families and that coming from that paedophile party run by that scum. Now we have Judith Thompson calling for victims of the troubles to receive pensions for their injuries received and has included the terrorists who shoot, who shot or bombed the victims. Uh, would that include my murdered father, Arthur Joseph Rafferty, murdered by a British government agent called Freddy Scapatici, a.k.a. Stignan. He was also an RUC police informer. Uh, my father has not received one brown penny from any government agency here or in Britain, while other victims have received funding and grants, and now they are claiming a pension. These victims are still alive and are able to get about and go into the town and shop and have a meal or go to a pub. Will someone tell me what is the difference between those victims and my poor father, Arthur Joseph Ruffey, who has been lying in his grave for over 45 years, and that corrupt RUC PSA knows who murdered my father? It was their paid informer, Freddy Scabatice, and the British government had full knowledge who, of the people that he murdered. And I suppose, uh, my father, I suppose, Scabatice will be putting his name down for a pension as the British government and that corrupt RUC special branch will accept his application while people like the HCP, Tits ET and Operation Canova sent out over here by the corrupt British government to look into murdered victims here in the north of Ireland have for years deliberately bypassed my murdered father's case and that is 45 years ago. Just to appease their bosses 
in the British government and that corrupt RUC, PSNA Special Branch and other under Sinn Féin IRA, British agent Skepa Tietze. And for that British government to send those English police over to the north of Ireland to look into the murders committed by that corrupt RUC, PSNA, so-called police force on innocent Celtic victims. How can we expect any justice from a British police force looking into that corrupt RUC PSNA as they both work for the same British government this God, who has murdered hundreds of other innocent members of the Irish public including my innocent father Arthur Joseph Raffley in 1974 and no one has ever been brought to stand trial for his murder. So, so I cannot expect any justice uh, or truth from these corrupt police sent here to waste my time and who are getting paid for doing nothing out of the public purse money. Money that should be spent somewhere else, like helping homeless people and starving people here in Belfast and people sleeping in shops, shop fronts. Now, to finish, <coughs> I cannot see me getting any justice for, uh, or help from the corrupt country run from this corrupt country run by corrupt people. I have put my murdered father's case into the European Courts of Human Rights and also to the War Crimes Commission. Nothing or anything would have replaced my father, yet this corrupt state treated him like dirt to appease those Sinn Féin area scum and that paramilitary group calling themselves a police force, the RUC PSNI. And as for my, as for human rights, oh, I forgot, this is Northern Ireland. We, we are Catholics. We do not have human rights and never had. Now, after 45 years of trying to get justice for my poor father, I have done everything legal and above board as the corrupt law stated. And these uh, corrupt British run courts and their corrupt judges done everything in their power to make sure that I, I get no justice and the cor corruption runs right to the very top. Now the Attorney General John Larkin refused me an inquest on my father's case. The Bar Council refused me legal aid. Uh, no lawyer would be was, was able to take my father's case on, on their say so. The legal aid people here turned me down so I could not take my father's case to court. No solicitors would take my father's case on, on the advice of the Bar Council. The whole corrupt court system made it quite clear to me that my father's case would never, never reach the courts. My father's human rights was violated by these, these corrupt low-life scum. I then went to the Human Rights Commissioner, Les Allenby, and got no help from them. The old boys club has closed ranks on me. Uh, it shows you to what length these scum will go to appease that corrupt British government and that corrupt RUC PSNA to shelter and to hide their mass murderer, Sinn Féin IRA, Freddy Scapatici, a.k.a. State Knife. Now this RUC PSNA who colluded with the British government have stooped to an all time low by the ethnic cleansing of six of my family practised by dominant ethnic group in, a, in the, an area of removing other ethnic groups by expulsion or extermination. And this present scum, still to the present day, are continue to harass, abuse, intimidate, intimidate and threaten me. Also, they have hacked into my private phone and colluded with members of the court staff the system, including a judge, to hack into my site on the Arthur Raffley Foundation, an independent victims group, and take private stories of my site. I thought hacking into people's phones was illegal. But of course, this corrupt scum and their corrupt courts here in the north of Ireland don't understand law. Now, anyone 
If you like a tip of my story, or any one of my story tips, could call me on my mobile 077 15 Leave your name and address and I will send you a tip free. Thank you. Anyone who has a story to tell and wishes me to hear it can call me on my mobile 07715 or I can send out a reporter to get your story and remember I will tell your story as you tell me nothing will be cut out. Now watch more of my stories on YouTube, authorofferly.com, YouTube Authorofferly, Arthur Offley Tucker, YouTube Jack Spot 2012. That is a tip about the brutal murder of my unarmed father by a five man gang of Sinn Fein RA led by Freddy Scapatici on the orders of the British government, the RUC, PSNA, and the Special Branch, uh, <coughs> carried out by their orders. Uh, this man Scapatici carried out their orders on their command. Now, my email is arthurofferly1 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching ASNA TV and good morning and I will see you soon.